Hey everybody, I am super super excited. I found the last mix in my local Dollar Tree. Uh, the Parmesan and Herb Sauce and Crust Mix for Chicken by The Good Table. I did the other two uh, meals using one with chicken, one with turkey. Um, the tortilla chicken and the Thai. Um, I think the Thai I used the chicken and no, the tortilla I used the chicken and the Thai I used um, turkey breast. Well, Dollar Tree had this one. They didn't have the um, tortilla chicken, which um, I was kind of hoping because that's actually my favorite. But this one is second, and I have to say that the Thai dinner is third. But this one is really good. Uh, so I am slicing my uh, boneless chicken breast that I got from Hazel Park. It's a little thick, so I'm going to be using the tenderizer to thin them out just a little bit so they don't take too long to bake. I have my mixing bowl set up here for the uh, coating sauce and the crust mix. And I'm out of parchment paper, so I'm using wax paper to line my pan. Now also for dessert tonight, we are actually going to have a Dollar Tree uh, chocolate pudding pie. I'm going to throw in some dried cherries that I got from my local food pantry last month. And uh, that is what's going to be for dinner tonight. We're doing Parmesan and herb chicken, Dollar Tree style, with chocolate cherry pie for dessert, Dollar Tree style. This is a piece of chicken that I did tenderize. I have one already in the can. But I know a few of you are definitely going to want to see me clobber the piece of chicken. So I'm actually going to do that in a moment. The rinse out of my hand quick. Kind of hard to do when you're holding a camera in the other hand. So I am shaking it around to get it coated pretty good. And flip it over to get the back. And there you go. And this piece is pretty thick. So, here I go. actually just pretty thick. That's okay though. I'll just have to bake it a few minutes longer. No biggie. So I'm dipping it in the coating sauce and into the mix. I'm wiping my hand with the basil sauce was on my fingers. Good. And we flip that over. And there we go. Now, <clears throat> while my chicken is baking, I am going to work on my chocolate pudding pie. Uh, <clears throat> this is chocolate pudding mix from Dollar Tree, and the directions say to beat it for, let me see here, one minute, 
using one and three quarter cups cold milk. Pour it once into a cool baked eight inch pie shell. Chill at least one hour. Well, I'm going to mix maybe, I don't know, a half a cup of dried tart cherries in with it. And this is the, um, the pie crust from Dollar Tree. And they are called Bama Graham Cracker Pie Crust. So, I'm going to mix this up in a moment and we will pour it into the pie shell and let it chill. So I added my one and three quarter cups milk to the pudding mix and I also threw in a half a cup of dry tart cherries which are from a uh, food pantry I got last month and I'm going to mix them up. <laughs> over here and then it's going to go in the fridge and chill for roughly one hour. If you enjoyed this Dollar Tree food video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.